Today we're going to talk to Karen Shield, the Education Development Officer from RSPB. We're going to be asking her questions on how climate change is affecting Northern Ireland and the species who live in it. Most people have heard about climate change, but not about definite effects on Northern Ireland. Is there any evidence of climate change here? Um, climate change is a very new area of research, um, so we have to be very careful. RSPB is at the forefront of the research to determine the factors that are affecting wildlife and um, birds in particular. Um, we have to be careful that it might be other factors that are influencing declines in bird species. It could be other forms of pollution or maybe disturbance. Uh, I would advise, in order for you to make informed decisions, it's probably best to look at the evidence that's actually in front of your eyes. Um, take opportunities to be involved in citizen science projects like Big Schools Bird Watch and the project that your school was involved with, the intertidal surveys. So it really is that we have to keep a watch and um, with it, it'll be revealed. That's... Does climate change seem to be affecting local habitats or species? Yes, we're, we're certainly beginning to, at the very, very early stages, are beginning to notice change. Um, we look for examples, local examples of, um, you know, particular elements of climate change. For instance, extreme weather events. And then on to our seabirds and our favourite puffin from Rathlin Island, one of the iconic birds of Northern Ireland. Um, again, we're, we're not sure timing of seasonal events and ecological mismatch might be affecting these birds. We know that there's an increase in the sea surface temperature and it might be having an impact on plankton. Uh, many of the causes of breeding failures for seabirds on Rathlin may be due to this, but it could also be overfishing, it could be other, it could be pollution, it could be disturbance. Oh, and just, I forgot, our last, let's come back to Bangor. These are the black guillemots that live in the harbour in Bangor. Yeah, um, yeah. Have, you, have, you, have you heard them on, <laughs> yeah. on the harbour wall? If you go yeah. down early, you can actually see them sort of parading up and down and they'll let you get quite close. They're quite, yeah. quite friendly. He has discovered that the sea temperatures are increasing and it's leading to the black guillemots nesting earlier, slightly earlier, but he hasn't noticed any effect yet on the production of chicks. That's Some of the things that we're noticing, but as you can see, it still is at the very early days and we really need to wait to gather more data to yeah. be sure sure what's exactly happening. Are there any positive things we can do to reduce the effect of climate change on local species? Oh yeah, well I've told you a little bit about sort of things that RSPB is doing, mainly sort of carrying out research and then that informs the action that they take on their own. They also work very closely with um, government um, to reduce our gas emissions um, so that they're doing, there's a lot of work happening there. But I think for, for ordinary, just for people, there are lots of things we can do. Um, I think joining together to reduce our carbon footprint, um, create healthy habitats for birds, yeah. if, um, taking part in the big garden bird watch every year and the big schools bird watch. The media is saying a lot of things as fact that really there isn't the research yet to back up. So, so it could be volunteer, it could be practical conservation work, or it could be working with us, with the media and lobbying government for change and letter writing campaigns and email campaigns because really the more voices that insist that our government start to take climate change seriously the better. One theory is that climate change is due to human effects on the environment. If this is so, are there any changes we can make to our behaviour or lifestyle which might reduce the effects of climate change? I think the most important thing I think is to take action for the poorest people of the world. Um, mm -hmm. Very often they don't have a voice. Um, they are suffering the most already from climate change and we have to stand together with people across the world to make our world government actually take this seriously. There are lots and lots of challenges and I think um, it really it, it really is up, I think it's up to young people like yourselves to get together with young people in other countries and insist that the government protects your, your future so it's the, the natural environment you're going to inherit and really you have to put pressure on them mm. and make them stand up, insist that our world leaders protect 
the, the natural heritage now. Thank you very much. Oh, pleasure. Oh, pleasure.